It's Mr. Zen's Sunday School. Won't you join in? We'll learn about the Bible, Jesus forgiving sins. Though the world is scary, God will see us through. Keep loving your neighbor just as God keeps loving you. Miss Roseanne here. Thank you for tuning in to Ascension Kids Sunday School Online. We miss being with you and we are glad you joined us for today's episode. We hope to have our kids Sunday School in person at the church as soon as it is safe. We miss you all. Well, every Sunday I say a special hello or happy birthday to one or two of you. Today, we want to say a very happy 21st birthday to two special girls who grew up in the church and went to Sunday school at Ascension, Kara and Alexandra. Here they are when they were little, and here they are today. They are, were cute back then and they are cute now. Kara and Alexandra have been friends all those years and they continue to bless Ascension in so many different ways. Kara helps with vid video editing and helps choose worship songs for our church services. She sings and plays a bunch of instruments for our morning worship time on Sundays. Alexandra helps put Miss Roseanne's Sunday School together each week. And she sings on some Sundays and helps with the website, among other things. She is also Pastor Michael's and Miss Roseanne's daughter. Thank you to both of you girls, women now, for all you do and for who you are. Would you help me at home send Kara and Alexandra a very special Ascension Happy Birthday greeting? Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Kara and Alexandra. Now today happens to be also Valentine's Day. Did you give the people you love at home a hug and a kiss? We all need hugs and kisses, not only today, but throughout the year. Now, what is Valentine's Day all about? Where did it start? Did you know? Did you know that God is the inventor of love? In fact, our Bible tells us that God is love. We even have a whole chapter in the Bible nicknamed the love chapter. Well, for a long, long time, the month of February has been the month of love. Around February in ancient Rome, Emperor Claudius II, he was like the king at the time, he said he wanted his soldiers not to have any wives. So he made this crazy law that no one was to get married. A Christian priest named Valentine or Saint Valentine, knew that God would not want that law. So Valentine had secret weddings for the soldiers and the women they wanted to marry. There was also another person named Valentine who was a Christian and he was in jail and he sent a card to a girl he was thinking about and he signed the card from your Valentine. 
Now, his name was really Valentine, but he got the whole Valentine thing started. His greeting was the very first Valentine card. Now, people in America began sending Valentine's cards to one another around the year 1700. That was 321 years ago. Back in 1700, they could not buy greeting cards like we do at CVS or Walgreens. They had to be creative and make homemade cards by decorating them with whatever special beautiful things they may have at home. Now, let me give you a tip. Shh. If you don't have a Valentine card for today, you can go and get some paper and make your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your grandma, your grandpa, their very own Valentine's cards. You can just use crayons, markers, and whatever you have around your house. They would probably really like that. Now today, did you know that there are about 145 million, million, Valentine's cards sent out in the mail every year. It's the second highest kind of card. It comes right after Christmas, which is the highest. Now, as Christians, God continues to show us love every day. God sending his son Jesus was the biggest, biggest way Biggest, biggest Valentine card ever. It was the biggest, biggest way love was ever shown to us. Today's episode shows us this love of God. In fact, it is called God Loves and Forgives His Children. Well, happy Valentine's Day again from our home to yours. Here's my Valentine. Now for some Valentine love coming your way from our Ascension Kids. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see no, I won't be afraid. Oh, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. So, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. Stand by me If the sky That we look upon Should tumble and fall Or the mountain Should crumble To the sea Now here are the questions For today To think about While I tell the story Are you ready? Question one what was written on the stone tablets? What was written on the stone tablets? Question two. When we do not follow God's law or God's commandments, what is that called? Question three. Why was God angry with Aaron and the Israelites? And question four, how did God show his love in this story? Last week, we saw Moses and Aaron going up Mount Sinai and going down Mount Sinai as God wanted them to give the Israelites some important messages to all of those Israelites who were down at the bottom of that mountain. The Israelites got the messages but today, 
we will see that they messed things up completely. The Israelites had trouble obeying God's commandments. Now, it would be easy for us to say, oh, those Israelites, what was wrong with them? They couldn't follow God's rules? Wait, wait, wait. I know it could be hard for all of us, for you and for me, to follow all of the rules, all of the commandments. It's hard. But we, in God's with God's help, have to, right? Now, before I tell the story, let's go outside into my backyard. Ha ha, gotcha. It's still covered with snow. It's really cold outside. We are not going outside in the backyard. Instead, we are going to visit with Miss Beth, Ryan, and Nathan, who are playing a game with all of us called Obey the Commandments. Stand up and get ready to play the game along with them. You will have fun. Hi, Miss Roseanne. Hi, friends. Okay, let's start. Listen to what I tell you to do and then obey my command. Put your hands over your head and clap three times. Go. Jump up and down five times. Go. Close your eyes and touch your nose. Go. Raise your right hand and wave. March in place and make a silly face. Go. Touch the floor, then reach up high three times. Go. Do four jumping jacks. Go. Hold up five fingers and wiggle them. Go. Jump on one foot three times. Go. Spin two times. Go. Okay, were the commands easy or hard to obey? What do you think, Ryan? Easy. And what do you think, Nathan? Easy. Ryan, can you think of a time when it's hard for you to obey? I find it hard to put my dishes in the dishwasher like I'm supposed to. What about you, Nathan? Can you think of a time when it's hard for you to obey? It's hard for me to obey cleaning my room when I have to. Thank you, Connors. Thank you to Miss Beth, Ryan, and Nathan. Ryan and Nathan, you perfectly followed those, those commands. Well done. And you are both right. Those were easy commands. But what happens when we are asked by someone who loves us, like God or our parents, to do more difficult things? like something we know is right, but we don't feel like doing. When we don't do what is right, when we do not follow the commandments or God's law, it is called sin. Did you hear Ryan and Nathan tell us at the end about obeying for more difficult things, like putting dishes in the dishwasher and cleaning a bedroom? We all have trouble with those. Remember, when we do not follow all important commandments, 
That means there is sin in our hearts. In God's plan, we continue to learn that he loves us and he forgives our sin. Now Moses went up to Mount Sinai to meet God. He was gone for a long time. Day after day, day after day passed without any sign of Moses. The Israelites began to wonder, where is he? Some people grumbled and complained. They said to Aaron, Mo that was Moses' helper, Moses, Moses led us out of Egypt, but we don't know what has happened to him. Maybe he has forgotten all about us. Aaron, Aaron make us, us a God. God. So we can see something. And see who can lead us. Make them a God? They had God already. They did not need a pretend God. But that's what they wanted. Aaron should have said, no way, I will not do that. You just had promised God that you would obey him and worship him. God will be very angry with this. This is disobeying him. But Aaron did not do what was right. Aaron did a very terrible thing. He told the people to give them all of their gold jewelry. And when they brought him this gold jewelry, he took it all, melted it all in the fire, and made a calf out of gold. The people looked at this calf and said, This, this is who brought us out of Egypt. Egypt. How terribly sad. Aaron had made this pretend God for the people to worship. A piece of gold! They said the calf brought them out of Egypt. How crazy was that? The Lord saw his people had broken their promise to love him. They had broken their covenant with him. The Lord saw that they had disobeyed him. He was really sad. He was angry. Moses prayed to God. Oh Lord, he begged, please do not be angry on your people whom you brought out of Egypt with your great power. When Moses prayed, God pulled back his strong anger. Then Moses went down the mountain carrying the tablets of stone that God had given him. On them were the Ten Commandments, his super important rules for loving God and his people. When Moses saw the people worshiping the golden calf, he threw those tablets down and they broke into a million pieces. Well, maybe not a million pieces, but a lot of pieces. The broken tablets showed that the people had broken their promise to God. Moses said to Aaron, Why did you lead the people into such great sin? He asked him sternly. Moses knew that Aaron had let the people get out of control and deserved to be punished. But some people had not wanted to worship the golden calf. Moses stood at the front of the camp and called out, Anyone who wants to follow the Lord, come and stand by me. Well, there was one family called the Levites who gathered around Moses. They wanted to worship the Lord God with Moses. Moses went back up the mountain. He prayed and asked God to forgive the sin of his people. God would forgive the people their sins, but he also had to punish 
them to teach them the right way. Remember the broken tablets? Well, God made two new tablets of stone and gave them to Moses to take down the mountain again to the people. Even though the Israelites had broken their promise to serve God and worship him alone, God did not forget his promise to be their God. He saved them and kept his promise to love them, lead them, and care for their needs, though he also punished them for their sin. Today, God also punishes and forgives. Jesus got punished for our sins instead of us. Then he went on to forgive us. Just as Moses came down the mountain to help the Israelites, Jesus came down from heaven to help us. He wanted to rescue us from our sins too. Did you remember the answers to the questions that I asked you at the beginning of the story? I bet you knew all of the answers. Let's see. Question one, what were, what was written on the stone tablets? Did you say the Ten Commandments? You are right. Question two, when we do not follow God's law or God's commandments, what is that called? Did you say sin? You are right, this is called sin, sin in our hearts. Question three, why was God angry with Aaron and the Israelites? I think you remember this one too. When they did not see Moses coming back, the Israelites asked Aaron to make a pretend God out of gold. Aaron did a terrible thing and said he would do this. Then the Israelites worshipped that pretend God that looked like a calf. Question four. How did God show his love in this story? Hmm. Well, God showed his love by forgiving the people. He also showed his love by allowing them to get punished so they would learn the right way. Today's lesson was called, God Loves and Forgives His Children. Now, these worksheets will very soon, when our website is fixed, which is happening very soon, will be available for you all to print out so your children can do the activities, and you can read the, about the projects that you can do with your, your, your kids. Now, if you would like this before the website is finished, please reach out to me and I will mail you an actual one. Please do that. And there is also a craft sheet where they can um, color in some ways that they worship and obey God. Let's do our Bible verse together. It's the same one from last week. And this will also be on the website. And God spoke, I am the Lord your God. Exodus 20, 2a. Let's do that again. And God spoke, I am the Lord your God. Exodus 20, verse 2. If you would like to read this story with your, with your mom or dad, it is found in the book of Exodus. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday with us. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.